I'm now going to add an external SCSI device to my AHA2940 ultra-wide host adapter. In this case, I have a removable media drive, a jazz drive from my Omega. Now, before I attach this drive, I need to configure it. I need to configure two things. First is the SCSI ID. Now, I ran SCSI select on this system, and I saw that only SCSI IDs 0 and 7 were taken, so I can set this jazz drive to any other available SCSI ID. To set the ID, you use a switch here. I've set this to SCSI ID 6, a non-conflicting SCSI ID. The second thing I need to do is set the SCSI bus termination. Now since the iOmega Jazz will be on the end of the SCSI bus, I need to enable his SCSI bus termination. This is done by flicking the switch here to SCSI bus termination enabled, and I've already done that. So this is ready to go. Now the external connector on the AHA2940 ultra-wide host adapter is a 68-pin wide SCSI 3 and the connector on the jazz drive is a 50 pin SCSI 2 high density. Because they're different, I need both a cable and a cable adapter. Now the cable I'm going to use is the ACK-H2H Cable Kit 97 from Adaptec. It has a 50 pin high density connector on both ends of the SCSI cable. The adapter I'm going to use is here, the ACK-68P-50P97, also from Adaptec. Now to attach it, I connect this up like this. Uh, the 68 pin connector goes on the back of the host adapter, like that. And this connector goes into the jazz drive. I now add power to the jazz drive, and I'm ready to go.